A lot of stuff happening on this show. I'll say. Austin's ranting about Ty Jiri backstage when Rob Van Dam arrives. Maybe the other second best thing on the show. Rob goes to Austin and says, did you hear the news? And Austin says, no, what news? Rob, I might not be the one to tell you. You seem pretty worked up. And he goes to leave. And Austin says, wait, wait, wait. Is it good news or bad news? And Rob says, well, I think it's bad news for you. I don't want to hear it. All right, Rob goes to leave. Austin, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead and tell me, tell me, tell me. So, I ain't, so Rob says. I know, how, two are the greatest. How Rob got this news, I have no idea. Maybe he got the text straight from Kurt. But Rob lets Austin know that Kurt Angle has checked himself out of the hospital, which I guess you can do off a possible hairline fracture of your vertebrae. But it wasn't. But they thought it was. Well, that first report. All right, yeah. but the, the symptoms are that severe. Well, anyway. He's checked himself out of the hospital, and he's on his way to the arena. And finally, Rob goes to leave, and Austin calls after him, Thank you, RVD. You're a good man. I did laugh at this. This was fun. Now, is Rob Van Dam oblivious, or is he trolling Austin? Oh, he's trolling Austin. Okay. 100% trolling Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Ty Jiri. Yeah. Who, of course, is introduces hailing from Japan. Austin eats him alive, beats him worse than he did in the opening segment, wins with a stunner in 220. Yeah, he didn't get one move. He was beaten and beaten and beaten. I don't even know why it went 220. It was a waste of my time. He killed this guy. He's, isn't Tajiri the U.S. champion? He is defending the title at the pay-per-view, yes. Huh, yeah. Just a rhino, I believe. I really cared about that belt when this was over. Yeah. So he goes to pile drive to Jiri when Kurt Angle appears on the ramp. He was gone for barely an hour. Then he begins to speak. So listen, Kurt Angle's delivery was excellent. His ability to deliver these lines with passion and believability, great stuff. The material. I don't know who wrote this promo. I could probably guess. But I do know they've never been in a fight in their life. Here is what Kurt Angle said 60 minutes after being pile driven on the cement, almost giving him another broken freaking neck. And he comes back here to challenge the man who tried to do this to him. First of all, let's, before we get to what he says, he's so mad, he is going to talk at him. He's going to tell him how he feels. That's already awful. What he says is, you know, Austin, when you threw my gold medal, and yes, I did write down every word of this promo was that bad. You know, Austin, when you threw my gold medals over that bridge a few weeks ago, you threw a piece of Americana into that water, and I will never forgive you for that. Nor will I forgive you for what you tried to do to me tonight. Now I see you for who you truly are. You're a desperate man, Austin. You don't want to face me for the WWF title this Sunday at Unforgiven. Wonder who wrote this. Because when you look at me, when you look into my eyes, look at my eyes. You know that I am the one man that in your mind, in your heart, and deep down in your soul can beat you. And this Sunday at Unforgiven... I will walk out of my hometown, the World Wrestling Federation champion. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. And I promise you that I will have no forgiveness for you. <laughs> Bro, Stephanie should just come out and cut this promo for the guy. Dude, I watched a fucking 30-minute opening segment of this bloke getting pile-driven on the fucking cement and taken out in a stretcher all the way through the goddamn catacombs of the building in the ambulance, and he goes there, and we're going to all these medical reports. He's got a fracture of his fucking broken neck, <laughs> and then he fucking comes back an hour, an hour later, he comes back on this show. What? I don't know. And I was just watching and thinking, in their minds, they probably think these fans are marking out. God damn, look, he's back. I was watching and thinking, you know, this probably would have been awesome 
if he'd been pile driven like three weeks ago or something like that, mm. and he hadn't been on TV, and it was like hit and miss whether he'd even be at the pay per view. That would have been awesome. But actually. then on the goddamn go home show, he fucking comes back and he tears off the fucking neck brace and he cuts a promo. That would have been awesome. If he tears off the neck brace and hits the ring and Austin flees and then Angle cuts a promo. Whatever. That's much better. But like there's a million things you could do if you think, if you plan. Yeah. And clearly there was no planning going on here because they came up with a fucking idea on the go home show and it's like they got no time to actually follow through with it if the guy's going to wrestle on the pay-per-view on Sunday. So anyway, if you liked it, great. No. I mean, no one, whatever. No one could have liked it, and if you did this thing terribly wrong with I you. I could see people being excited that he made it back and whatever, but I thought it was fucking dumb. It was horrible. Craig, your thoughts? It was silly. It was silly. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.